No! Ooh. Run! Oh my god. Alright. Well, welcome back to the second episode of Those Who Remain. We'll be continuing where we left off. Just made it to the library. A couple extremely scary parts. Uh, that one fucking Annika bitch chasing us down, and whatever that one thing was that was guarding guarding the library fire escape. We shall continue first episode there was a couple couple of spots that were a little challenging obviously uh, <laughs> trying to find the key in that one barn and then just hopping through the different dimensions at the gas station Annika dead is this the same girl I just saw what where? Annika dead. That's right. We got a. We um. We had a lighter. That. Got lost when we were ran down by Annika. What the fuck was this guy talking about? About. Annika being dead. I mean, she looked dead, but. I don't know what he saw in here. What the fuck it? Oh. Okay. Well, that seems to be the way to go. Just gonna take a little browse. Souls are like paintings. Sometimes a beautiful canvas hides a paintings. Picture. Oh. Oh. Could mean a lot of things. Or it means that. Fucking game is loud as fuck. One year ago today, Dormont was left in shock following the news of Annika Krasizgu. Krasizgu? I honestly wonder what the pronunciation of that is. Krasizgu? Accident. A young girl was riding her bike near the Psalm. Oh, she's the. the chick that died and she fell down the cliff Annika left us at the tender age of 13 we wish well that's fucking weird I was gonna say she didn't look 13 when I uh yeah made her an offer cops say he's here to meet a 13 year old girl how are you? good how are you? <laughs> his date with a 13 year old is going to be on national TV Sorry, I'm really nervous. Oh, you gonna give me a hug? No, sorry. Who's this? I'll get to that in a minute. Who are you? Who are you? You tell me first. You're Jeff, right? Yeah. Well, what did you expect to happen this time, Jeff? Quick pee pee touch before I leave. Alright, fuck. What? You're lost. Didn't have any expectations. No expectations whatsoever. No. Now, you know. That this girl is 13, right? Well, I'm sure. She's told you. I will. Can you just tell me who you are? I'm Chris Hansen. And this is an investigation. So if there's anything else you want people to know, anything you want to say, now would be a good time to say. I can't believe we stopped. 
maybe. Oh, shh. Fucking got a bunch of druids here. Hey, can I get your fucking torches? That'd be pretty dope. No? Okay. Oh. Well, that's convenient. Hey, what's up, bitch? Listen, I know you're fucking dead. How old was I? Annika, are you dead? Uh, how old? What does this mean? Mm. The candles are numbered. What? The candles are numbered? Oh. Well, find number 13. A light of Asia. Two. fuck is that thing? Three. Eight. Six. Motherfucker gives me anxiety. One. That's a light if I touch it. I was 13 when I died. Maybe this will open the door. Wow. That thing is so fucking creepy. Things like made out of like fucking, it's got like a fucking road cone. It's like a fucking tire. It's like something that belongs in the game The Forest. Some fucking mutant. Wait, this is uh fuck. I thought that was the door. What other door is fucking open? These are windows. I'm gone.
find a way out. Oh shit. That opened the door. That's fucking loud. What's up, dude? I don't exist. Yet I'm here. Oh, cool. Good for you, man. I wish I didn't exist. Where the fuck am I? Oh no, this is different now. Fuck. Oh my god. All right. What were they doing here? Dude, why are you so nonchalant about what the fuck you just saw? What the fuck is going on there? Oh my god. That looks actually kind of fun. What would be worse? Looks like that dude's getting ripped apart. That just looks like some S and M shit. I don't even know what the hell's going on there. All right. Now, the fuck do those druids come into play? Uh, something like that. What the hell? I think I saw Steve-O do that one time. Dude's got a tiny schmeckle. I think that dude, like, bounces that up and down and then that goes into her pussy. Something like that. Oh. oh that's a fucking back scratcher. Tajuka, the demon of vengeance, also known as the Lord of Darkness. It's not clear where it Dazuka. Dezak. Dezak came from. Some <laughs> scriptures mention he was a fallen angel. Others say he was created in Avernus in the infernal regions of the lower world. He was always attracted by injustices and Particularly, particularly by the death of innocence. Whenever that happened, Dezak took great pleasure in punishing the guilty, slowly playing with their emotions while trapping them in enclosed areas. The interesting fact is that he didn't judge the guilty. According to the scriptures, he always chose someone else to decide their fate. So... Going on a hunch here. That dude in the chair was Dezak. And then, am I gonna be the one that decides their fates? Oh, there's those little fucking mofos. Alright. What dimension are we going into now? Gonna have some gummy bears. Some gummy bears. I don't give a fuck.
Oh, fuck. Guess I must go through the house. Uh, yeah, dude. I don't think we have another fucking option. Like, honestly, all joking aside, like, how fucking scary would that be? Like, you just look outside and you just see that. There's fucking eyes and fucking silhouettes. Hey, hey. I think I was led to this place. Oh, yeah, dude. Definitely we're led to this place. Okay, lights are on. Lights are on. Good. Lights being on is a good thing. Yeah, we don't want to do that. It's locked out. Doubt I'll ever know the password. Oh, come on. There's got to be one... Something written down somewhere. I will say the fucking... The like interaction on this game is a little a little wonky. Oh what? Can't grab that? Okay. All right. Cool, don't want to go in there anyways, fucker. Uh... Hello? You, sir? Can you hear me? Yeah? Who the fuck are you? Fuck is that? The fuck? Open. Nice. The fuck is that? Bolt cutters. Nice. All right. See, that's what I don't like is. It's not obvious enough if there's a fucking switch in here. If that makes any sense. Uh, dear Mr. and Miss Harris, I'm writing this letter in connection with Mark's attendance record. Mark has been absent five classes out of possible 16 in the last four weeks. This represents an absence rate of 31%. I'm enclosing a copy of the attendant, attendance record for your information. Your child's academic attainment suffers if he continues to miss school frequently. So I, so I am asking you to ensure that Mark attends regularly in the future. I understand that he went through a tough time during the last year, but if he, but if he continues to miss classes, he won't be able to improve his grades. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you would like to discuss the matter further, yours sincerely, Cindy S. Fredericks, head teacher. Head teacher, all right. Teacher, no. Stupid joke, stupid joke, stupid joke. Nice kitchen. Ooh, pizza, pizza pie. Pizza. Waste fucking you have it. Nobody's telling you you can't, dude. Not fucking empty cupboards. Fucking wasted all their money on the fucking appliances, I guess. Either that, or they just fucking eat too much. The way I like it. Haha. <laughs> Me too, buddy. Me too. 
Mark, come home after school. We don't want you outside after dark. I'll call at 7 p.m. to check if you're home, Dad. Juice, milk, waffles, jam, fruits, ketchup. Also pizza. Call doctor or whatever the fuck. All right. On we go. We should go upstairs. Can we go upstairs? I can't go through the dark. No, definitely not. Illuminate the second floor. <laughs> Let's pick up the computer and bring that with me. Like, why wouldn't you, you know? If a lighter... Um, yeah, let's just close this. Alright. Oh, wait, I can't. If a lighter can... Um, illuminate enough to send them packing. Why the fuck? Why don't you just carry the laptop? That is fucking creepy. Like, I'm not one of those... One of those people that... Is very scared of clowns. But when done right... Oh my. Ugh. I hate clowns. Well, maybe they fucking hate you too, Edward. Oh, oh what the fuck? Find a way through the house. Oh, that was a med kit that was chilling up there. Okay. That did nothing. All right.
Did I not fucking turn on? Damn. That's what I'm saying about this fucking the interaction on this game. It's really janky. Mark is having a tough time coping with Kenny's death. Well, Kenny. Who the fuck is Kenny now? Hell, we all are. A father should never have to bury his son. But what else can we do? He doesn't listen. He doesn't want to talk to us. Dr. Volbach says that he's becoming violent and aggressive. And Lizzie, she tries to hide the pain with pills, spends day and night in bed. Maybe I should see a psychiatrist too. Yeah, probably, dude. I can relate. Yeah. Damn. Don't know how this motherfucker gets into his desk. Should probably see a psychiatrist about that, dude. Don't picture. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dr. Stephen Harris. A lot of diplomas. Yeah, very impressed. Dr. Stephen Harris. A lot of diplomas. I said they need to make this shit more obvious. What the fuck? Keep your room, kid. History class is boring as usual. Why do we even need to learn this old crap? I saw the weird kid today. I think she lives with her mom outside Dormont. Me, Des, and Hayden spotted the new freak while playing football. Her name is Anika. Annika. Anika. Her name is Annika. We, what kind of name is that really? Anyways, most of the most the most amazing thing happened. Des dipped the ball in a puddle of mud and then threw it at the girl. Hit her right in the face. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. The weirdo ran away crying with the mud all over her face. Des has a great throw. I hope he gets that football scholarship. Des is grounded for a week. Apparently, he forgot to close a drawer in the kitchen. Hayden is helping out his dad in the store. That leaves me with no one to hang out with. I was so bored that I decided to follow that geek Annika. She rides her bike through the woods. I guess she really li lives. She really lives outside of town. I miss Kenny. The gang is finally back together. Hayden found a dead rat and brought it to school. While well, I distracted Annika. Des and Hayden got their backpack and stuffed the dead rat inside. When she opened the backpack in class, she screamed like a child and started crying. I laughed so hard and I almost fell out of my, off my chair. Fuck Mark. What a piece of shit. I have a 20 page report to deliver tomorrow. Don't know where to start. Ugh. We were sent to detention today for playing a stupid prank on the weirdo. Me and Hayden will be all right, but Des, he'll be in the in huge trouble with his crazy father. Any, anyway, no video games for the next ten days. Great. Des is acting strange today. I don't know what his father did to him this time, but his punishment must have been bad. He was wearing long sleeves on a hot day, hiding bruises again. It's all Annika's fault. Hayden got into a fight with Bobby today. Poor Hayden didn't put up much of a fight. At lunch, I threw a bowl of rice, Jesus, over Annika's head. Everyone laughed at her. We're definitely the coolest kids in school. I really miss Kenny. Annika always rides that stupid bike of hers. That thing is asking for a serious is prank. This the same Annika. Oh my God. Damn. Fuck. Piece of shit. I've seen this somewhere. Probably just got a trophy. 
connoisseur. Interesting. Somewhat of a connoisseur myself. <laughs> oh. What's up? Annika, you do not look like you're fucking... Oh, what the fuck? Okay. So, that makes me believe that almost all these rooms you can go inside. But whether they have something of importance? A bit grim for toilet reading. You know what I mean? I mean... What the fuck? Dr. Volbeck asked me to write about my feelings. He said it would help, but how can anything help with the loss of a child? I don't want any strength to get out of bed. God forgive me. I still have Mark, but I don't feel any joy of living anymore. I'm... Oh, so Kenny was was Mark's brother. I wish Stefan would understand. Interesting, interesting. They literally <laughs> happier times, I guess. Just and they took stock photos for like the pictures on this game. Which I mean it is what it is. Just funny. He's fucking funny, man. Okay, you went down there. Sorry, Annika, I did not know I could explore this much. Ooh, this is my room right here. Fucking hot-ass babes. Almost looks like uh, Lindsay Lohan in that one movie. I know who killed me. Okay, I hear a baby crying. That is fucking creepy. Damn. Oh, no, this is probably Kenny's room. Probably the sound of the mom fucking crying. Oh wow, that's sad. That is sad. Okay. A memory of Kenneth. Your life was a blessing. Your memory, a treasure you love. You are loved beyond words and missed beyond measure. Damn. How big that fucking basketball is. Alright. Dude love baseball, that's for fucking sure. Oh, young man. Oh yeah. We all went through that phase. Having half at half naked women on your wall. Or condemn. What are you asking here? Yeah, what the fuck are you uh kinda scaring me? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna push my luck. God, you're crazy. Decide what? You're not making sense. Them what? What? Why does everyone have to know what to be? Fuck, is that Mark? Is this hell? 
What do I do? You can decide when you know everything. What the fuck? You want me to judge him? No, no fucking way. Surprise. No one is here. You're fucking kidding me. I have to start all over again. Follow me. Where? Oh. People change. After a few sessions with Mark, I can make a preliminary report about the psychologist's status. Be advised that this is very preliminary. I recommend more sessions that we better, I'm guessing, ascertain. I don't know, to do. It only took one conversation to conclude that Mark had a very strong connection with his brother Kenny. His death left Mark deeply troubled and behaviorally traumatized. When he talked about the time they spent together, he only described the moment of joy and happiness more than a friend and a play partner. Kenny was also Mark's role model. Since Kenny's death, Mark is unable to describe a moment of joy. He feels... Alone and lacking guidance, a vacuum created by his brother's loss. Mark seemed to have a new. Mark seems to to have made new friends to make up for this. From the little time he talked about them, they mostly spend their time doing sports and playing pranks on other kids. I suspect some of these pranks might be a bit violent, although he didn't want to talk too much about the subject. I believe this is the way Mark found to cope with Kenny's loss. He's projecting his anger on other kids by making them suffer too. Mark is deeply troubled and in some in, in need of some counseling and guidance. By recommendation that we just too weekly upon it. Okay. Mark didn't take his brother's death well. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> Shut up, Mark. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep you around or not. Seems that Marky Whoa. here was a sweet boy before his brother died. It was only after that he became a heartless bully who loved to see others in pain. But the fact remains that Annika is dead because of it. So now you decide. Should Mark Harris be forgiven? Or pay for his crime? Shit. I don't have a choice. I do. I think I'm supposed to choose <laughs> Thinking young boy. She was a bully, but he too was in pain. Yeah, he can be saved. I mean, I'm not saying that he's too young to know better, but he can get. Oh, fuck. Yo, oh, get the fuck out of here. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh fuck, I don't like this. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh crap. I, I got fucking goosebumps. Oh, that bitch is fucking scary. I'm sorry, Annika, but goddamn, kids make mistakes. All right, I think we're gonna hang of this game. 
I, I do not like that checkpoint system. That was ass. Like, I don't know. I just wish there were more, like, indicators of, like, I don't know, have a mirror or something where it's like, oh, yeah, okay. There's one in there. And I guess that's the point of it, but when you have a checkpoint system like that, that's not good. Because I was almost done with the whole fucking, the whole level. The police station. Huh. Maybe I can find help here. Well, this should be fucking nice and creepy. Police station. It's an odd looking car. Literally looks like what I would draw if I had to draw a car. Yeah, bro. Oh no is right. Officer 8 Ball, do you copy? Got a 1082. Man, everybody's got fucking empty fucking drawers around here. Unacceptable. See, everything's too lit up in here. Like, it's starting to sketch me out. The case files you asked for are on the bottom drawer. All unsolved disappearances from 1958. Dope. Thanks for that. Don't remember asking for it, but I appreciate you, uh, officer. Good work. The detective work. It's a fucking loud ass fucking light, tell you that much. Get maintenance in here to fix it. I ain't got time for this shit. Just looking to stay alive. Just looking to stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Aha! There it is. Gregory Pin Pinson, 34, construction worker, last seen on the bridge construction site on March 21st, 1958. Herbert Spindler, 42, truck driver, last seen leaving Leota's Bar on October 5th, 1958. Forgetting a T after the five, but. Stacy Sloan, 27, teacher, last seen hiking in the woods on August 13, 1958. Erlene Schmidt, unemployed, last seen in her home outside Dormont on August 25, 1958. Blamp's birthday. Carl White, 31, chef, last seen at the post office, ooh, one of the post office massacres. Although there was no apparent connection between these subjects, they all had one thing in common, police record. Everything from small petty crimes to a murder suspect. This led to some to believe that they were killed by a vigilante, maybe even someone on the force. Wait, what was that? The bodies? Their bodies were never found. Okay. Alright, alright. Any other goodies in here? Ah. Uh, Ah, dude. He's dead. <laughs> no shit. Hey, car key. Oh, my God. It's not going to use stock footage or photos. <laughs> like, I'm going to guarantee, like, that person right there is, like, somebody that worked. All these, all these people are people that worked on the game. Guarantee it. 
Guaranteed. The exposed cable is touching the water. I can't go inside. Hmm. Be a lot cooler if you did. Alright. Now we're cooking up something good. Quite literally. Hmm. Well, this is fucking creepy. What the hell? Damn it, not again! Oh my god! <laughs> Ooh. It's getting fucking louder. Don't look back, don't look back, keep going. Holy fuck. What the hell? Probably control the water flow inside. That's not it. That's not it. Well, am I just gonna be playing the fucking guessing game then? That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Well then, bud, I have no fucking idea. Oh. That's it. The water's running again. That Annika bitch is fucking scary as a motherfucker. Not like I need to say it, but goddamn. How do I know what I'm fucking toggling here? Okay, I should be able to go into both rooms now. Lawrence Math Mathis is being transferred from Needles today. He'll stay here waiting, awaiting pickup by the marshals. Be careful with the individual. He's a suspect of double homicide. Okay. So what was that other room that I couldn't go into that I just gained access to? Is it this one right here? Yep, yep. Oh, what's up, bro? What's up, bitch? You know, you need to really stop. Forgive him or condemn. Really? Again? What the fuck is this? I don't even know who the fuck this is. You must be the sheriff.
Oh, that's right. The sheriff is like the one that's like not fucking taking anything seriously in this town. That's right. That's right. Hey, Annika, if you keep fucking doing this um creepy ass bullshit, um, you could just fuck right off. Oh God, she scares the fuck out of me every time. I got goosebumps all over my body right now. Which way are we going? You can choose once you have learned everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand. The information you're looking for is in this world. Oh. Well, thank you for the hint. Is it in this room specifically? What the fuck? I didn't even know that fucker was after me. Damn, okay. That would have been nice to know beforehand, huh? Oh, I'm fucking dead. through all those lockers. It's the only thing I could think of. Gummy bears by the wind. I don't fucking see anything. This one reminds me too much of Matt, even though they're exactly the same. That's why I wanted him to lose another son. I met Matt play along with friends all day, and where did that get him? I see Desmond doing shit all day with these kids. All I see is Matt. No! Ooh. Run! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Well, I didn't even fucking read it all. All right, can I just condemn you? I do not want to go back into that fucking thing. Oh my god! Fuck, he turned around so fast! Yes. 
son was involved, so he closed on his investigation. Anik was found dead yesterday at Dormont Sama. Her body was found at local workers. Michael, Bailey, and Gary Kent. Bailey and Kent found the body shortly after arriving to the sawmill. Annika's body was found on the scene next to a purple bicycle, which led to us to believe that she could talk from the cliff riding the bike through the forest. Agent Stefan Green and I investigated the cliff ledge and a bicycle. So Kazuki body was alone. While analyzing the bike, Agent Crane also noticed that the brake cable had been cut clean, possibly with pliers. Damn. Agent Crane and I talked several to the and I talked to several of the town's folk to find out when Annika was last seen alive. According to several eyewitnesses, she was last seen Sorry, bitch, get the fuck out of here. She was last seen riding by with the three other kids. Mark, Harris, Desmond Matthews, oh, Matthews, and Hayden Bradley. Wow, every collective statement and evidence and submitted everything to the sheriff. Annika was found dead at the Samo from what we could ascertain. She fell from the cliff and was riding their bike, possibly running away from the group of kids. Important to note that the brake cable on her bike appeared to have been cut. Might explain which fell riding on the route when she was every day. This was an accident. No need to collect more. Damn. See ya. Fucking stupid lantern motherfucker. Hope I never fucking see you again. Uh, it's probably wishful thinking at this point. Jeff Matthews loves order above anything else. That's probably one of the reasons that led him to the military. He wanted that same order at home, because he wanted his son to follow his footsteps. This potential crime, the death of Annika, could jeopardize all the plans he had for Desmond. He dropped the investigation out of love and fear for his son, but Annika's dead. Doesn't her mother deserve justice? Yep. You decide. Should Jack Matthews be forgiven? Or pay for his crime? I guess I must decide again. Yeah, fuck you, Mr. Fucking Cocksucking Matthews. You don't want to fucking believe the town folk? You don't do your job? Annika's mother deserved the truth. Yep. And he did fucking everything he could shit. to stop her from knowing what happened. Oh, what the fuck? Where? Oh. Hey, what up, dude? Hey, am I glad to see you? You're the first living person I've seen in a while. Yeah, yeah, hey. Help me out, buddy. Can you check if these cops there have the keys to this car? No, they don't have the keys. But who are you? I'm no one. Just trying to get out of here. You and I both. Do you know what's happening in Dormont? I don't know, man. The cops brought me from Needles. When we got here, everything went to shit. These freaks with machetes and knives came out of the dark and started killing everyone who wasn't standing in the light. I'm not getting out of this car for sure. So can you help me out or not? Come on, get the car keys. If I find the keys... Will you let me go with you? <laughs> no way. You're not getting in this car. But, uh, I can help you out. How? Oh. Get me the keys, and I'll use the headlights to clear a path for you. These cops seem to have been shot. Did you see what happened here? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't see anything. And who cares anyway? They're dead, like the entire damn town. Come on! I need to get... I can't find the keys. 
Come on, man. We have a deal. Find me some keys that work on this car. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Matches? Dope. I got your fucking car keys, you motherfucker. Oh man God! Outside has a gun in the dashboard. Two police officers have been shot. They're lying dead on the ground. Do I need to spell it out for you? Now you can give him the keys, or use the matches. Looks like a oh. gasoline canister. <laughs> That's funny because I got some matches. Well, I'm all about fucking giving people what the fuck they got coming to them. C'est la vie, cocksmoke. He's a murderer. He shot those cops. I can't let him get away. You guys like that? I think that's a perfect time to end the stream. Solved a couple of levels. I think I'm starting to get the hang of the game now that I know what to look for. You know, what to do. Seems like Annika and that fucking light lantern fucking head freak seem to be in every level, which kind of sucks because they're both creepy as fuck. Let's just see where where we are, where we're going to be in the next level. Dormont Post Office. What could have happened here? Post Office, okay. So everything seems to be centered around the kind of the same storyline, which is pretty cool. I like when they tie in together, like Sheriff Matthew's son uh, being a part of the... Um, Annika's death, too, so I'm excited to see how this story turns out. It's a very fun game, and see you guys in the next episode. Bye.